Love it or hate it, you've got to respect the Cadillac Escalade. The brand's luxury body-on-frame flagship SUV is about to enter its fourth generation and is arguably the last bastion of what used to be considered true American luxury. Yes, Lincoln still sells the Navigator, sort of, but the majority of cars like this with a similar price point come from over the pond. So what's a well-heeled Patriot to do? Well, coming in the spring of next year, Cadillac has a fresh answer to that question. The 2015 Escalade carries over familiar features like a fully boxed frame and a six-speed automatic transmission. But this time around, there's a much more sophisticated 6.2-liter V8 made it to that auto box. Output is up to 420 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. As you can see, styling cues have also been updated to better reflect the current product portfolio. Headlights wrap over the front fenders and the taillights stretch basically from the top of the liftgate all the way to the bumper. You might also notice the spoiler poking out that's shared with the rest of GM's new SUVs. But a warmed over version of past GM products, this most certainly is not. And the cabin is the best illustration of that fact. The sad truth was sitting in previous generations felt an awful lot like being in a swanky version of the Suburban. Thankfully, you can excuse those notions for the fourth generation, where Cadillac has gone to extreme lengths to make a much nicer and better defined cabin that Cadillac as a brand can call its own. Sumptuous leather, generous use of real wood inlays, and of course, Cadillac's Q infotainment system all come together to deliver a much more defined package. Not only that, but there's more leg room and headroom in the front and second rows, and the second and third rows both fold down completely flat at the touch of a button to make for much more usable cargo space. Fuel economy and pricing are still both unannounced, but with factors like direct injection and variable valve timing, as well as cylinder shutoff, we're hoping that the new car will be able to top its 16 mile per gallon rear wheel drive current average. Now, it's not entirely clear whether or not Cadillac will be able to return to its former status as a luxury truck king, but this car is certainly a step in the right direction.